The data set page is typically the first page you'll see in SALT. Clicking the Use SALT button from a web assigned question that has a data set will transfer that data set to SALT and bring you to this page. You can also upload your own data set as a CSV file or use an existing SALT data set to explore statistical concepts. The main screen displays the first 100 rows of your data set. To see additional rows of data, use the right and left arrows at the bottom of the table to scroll forward and back, or jump to the first or last page of data by clicking the outermost arrows. You can add a row to your data set by clicking Add Row, typing in the values, and clicking the check mark to save. The new row will appear at the bottom of the screen you are on. You can also search your data set for categorical values or numerical values. There are times when you will need to edit or remove a value from the data set. Clicking the pencil icon allows you to edit values within a row. Click the check mark to save your changes or X to cancel your changes. To delete a row, click the trash can icon and then the check mark to confirm that you want to delete the row. The variables section shows the variables displayed on the main screen. If your dataset is imported from WebAssign, all of the variables from the dataset will be displayed here. But if you upload your own data or use an existing SALT dataset, you will be prompted to select the variables you want to see. To add and remove variables from the main screen, you can check or uncheck these boxes. The gray boxes indicate whether a variable has been defined as numerical or categorical. You can access all of the variables in a dataset by clicking the gear icon and change the variables displayed by checking and unchecking the boxes from this screen and then clicking select. SALT will automatically define columns of numbers as numerical variables and columns of strings as categorical variables when it reads a data table. However, you have the ability to redefine whether a variable is categorical or numerical by clicking the dropdown and selecting the other option. With large datasets, you might want to filter your data to narrow it down. Click the inverted blue triangle to open the filter feature. For example, you can filter this dataset to show only fixed acidity greater than 10. To clear the filter, click the X in the gray box. If you make a lot of changes to your dataset, you may want to save your work. Clicking Download Dataset allows you to download your dataset from SALT as a CSV or Excel file. Those are the features of the dataset page that allow you to view and manipulate your data. There is much to learn and explore in your data, and SALT has so many ways to help you analyze it. Have fun exploring!